Okay, let's take it right from the top, working on those changes as they come, okay? Here we go. Good morning, Celeste. Here we are, ready? I'll give you one, two, three, and then you prep all four. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Let's talk about it. So great job doing the hold and then re-prepping right in the right in right from the hold, right? That was good. Talk to me about the tempo change when we got there. Is anybody nervous about that? The meter change? So we had that one, two, three. Was it pretty easy to predict what was going to happen next in your mind? Yeah. What were you thinking before you got there? <clears throat> thinking about the tempo, thinking about the, how the speed of the melody that you how wanted, right? Yeah, how fast it was going to be, exactly. Make sure, make sure that when you get there you have that circled really big. You know you have four measures and that you're looking up, surveying your group so that you will invite them into the scene, right? Okay, so let's take that again, the same thing when we get to Kookaburra, and you have that cue at 12. Kookaburra sings, and then you just keep going. Mary, Mary, king of the bushes, here, love. Okay, let's do the same thing one more time. Everyone stand. Make sure that your stand is kind of around your navel, not quite too high. Some of us are bringing them up real high, so just make sure they're down just a little bit, okay? All right. Good morning. Here we go again. <laughs> All right, I'll give you the same three, then you prep on that. Remind me again of the three components of a strong, clear prep gesture. Eye contact. Eye contact, very good. Sniff. Breath, sniff. The breath or the sniff. And the gesture. And the physical gesture, excellent, here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> Let's talk about our bracketing one more time. The biggest thing to remember, so when we did that last conducting exam from memory, and we talked about how much easier it was to communicate when you didn't have that in front of you. And we want to make sure that when, if your music is in front of you, that you are able to use it simply as a guide and not as a crutch, right? But make sure at 21, in fact, I would bring that all the way in here. Bring your marking. Okay, so that with your eyes, some of you, you would do better to do this with colors, Daniel. There's your colors right there. It's where your option is, okay? Um, but I would do that same thing right here before part two comes. Bracket it. So that every time, make a marking like that every time you want to do a cue on the part you want to do. So if you're looking at your score, it's like here I go, two, three, uh, again, and here, it's almost like your next point. You know, so you want to have the ability to look at that. Remind me again, Anders, at measure 27, who am I going to give just a little acknowledgement to at 27? Part 
Part two. Why part two? It's where the melody is so different, right? And remind me, Emma, what we're going to do at 29. Um, we're going to listen to part three. Um, we're going to hear about that. Yes. Yes. It's that same cue. And then we have a cutoff at the end of 32. How many bars do we have before I'm going to bring part three back in? Four bars. That's the same measurement of four bars that we had at the meter change, right? So it's nice and consistent. It gives you the same amount of time to kind of think through and breathe, check on everybody. But this time our entrances aren't part one, part two, part three. What's the order of our entrances? Three, part two, part, three, part, two, part one. So we're kind of going backwards, right? Right, okay, let's do that again from the beginning. <laughs> And as you look at your fabulous collaborative artist, make sure you acknowledge them. I know. And you do such a good job at doing this so early in the morning. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Here we go, Resi. All right, I'll give you the same three and then we'll tap on four. Let's check our posture real quick. We look a little feet, knees, hips, nice and balanced. Sternum is high. Roll those shoulders a couple times. 8 a.m. Brings out the best, your shoulders, right? Your head and neck, nice and balanced. Okay, and then bring your arms up. Bring them down. Check that circle of strength. Little pillow of air. Helps everyone. Ah, oh, yes. Now scoop your water. Turn it over. Looking good. Okay, nice job, everyone. Here we go. One, two, three. start out in unison, right? We've made it through all the changes, all the cutoffs in the middle, good meter change. And then we start part one, part two, part three in a strict canon. Cuts off together. Yes? I have a question. I have, I'm having trouble um, turning page and also cueing part three. Mm. When would you turn that page? Like maybe after you cue part two or when are you doing it? Good question. He said, when do I turn my page? I'm struggling with that, right? <laughs> Um, I would say earlier if you can, or have you even maybe make a little note of what your next cue is there. So as you're doing that, so you've got one and ready, next part, and one and two and ready, and one. You can even give that one handed as you're turning. You just need a plan for where that's going to be. It's a good question. So the question was, where do I turn my page? Wherever it best works for you. Um, you might even know, you might even turn it, you know, you cue part one. And you know part two is next. Da, 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 da. And you're turning your attention and one. So one thing that's really helpful as you're cueing staggered entrances at different places and working with this piece, just this simple treble piece, bless you, um, as you're doing that, it's important to know that 
part of your job is not just landing the cue on time. It's not just like, there it is. <laughs> it's the preparation before that that you're giving to the section, right? So when we're singing, so right, um, take, I'll, I'll demonstrate that right at the tempo change, right before the unison entrance. I want you to notice that I'm scanning the group and ready to go so that when we're together, we know we're together. Okay, so let's just try that one time together, shall we? Would you all please sing that right where the entrance is when we do it this time? We'll just start um, at measure, I'm gonna start at measure eight, you're gonna come in at measure 12. Here we go. There's good, there's good opening right there. We're prepping everybody mentally, so we're sure where we come in. But then did you notice how quickly I had to turn my attention at measure 19 to who? Part, uh, part, one. part one, right? So it had to be, great your life must be already. And I wanted to make sure that I had at least one bar with them. They knew where they were coming in, okay? Then the same thing, so I start them, kookaburra, and then I turn ready, and so the attention shifts before the cue, when at all possible. Make sense? Good. Um, let's do that one more time that far. Nope, we won't have time. That's the end. So here's what I want you to practice before next class, okay? Going back through each of those things, using the recording that's on our discovery page for that. Start at the beginning, work those transitions, thinking through those things. See if you can go ahead and take it through measure 60, and in class, next class, we'll work the ending out and put the whole thing together. Okay? Any questions, comments, ideas, snarky thoughts? Um, measure 60. Okay? Great, great. Thank you so much. Make sure you've bracketed and all your things. I'll see you next class.